there are some things that you should take during a fast and some things that you absolutely should not. When it comes down to minerals and vitamins, it's a little bit of a gray area because some vitamins and some minerals can actually affect a fast negatively and some can improve them. Okay, let me give you a basic example of how taking the wrong kind of vitamin during a fast can actually kill the effects of a fast. All right, let's take a look at vitamin C, for example. Very simple, innocent vitamin, right? Okay, it's an antioxidant, has tremendous properties when it comes down to neutralizing free radicals within the body. Well, when we're fasting, we're trying to get a hormetic response. What that means is we're trying to instill stress upon our body so that our body is forced to adapt. That's the purpose of the fast, is to get us stronger and adapted. Well, when you take vitamin C while you're fasting, what's happening? It's giving your body a crutch. You're helping it neutralize free radicals instead of your body being forced to do it on its own. Okay, that's a perfect example, and there are studies that back that up. So just a simple example there, but now let's talk about magnesium and minerals because most people come from the school of thought that minerals should always be taken during a fast, like sodium, potassium, things like that, and magnesium. Okay, well magnesium, for whatever reason, is excreted at exceptionally high rates during a fast like really high rates. In fact, the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism published a study that found that after a two month fast, I know you're not doing a two month fast, but after a two month fast, magnesium was excreted at four to five times the normal rate. Now again, I know you're not doing a two month fast, but the point is, is why after two months would the body still be forcing so much excretion of magnesium? We don't really know. The point is, is when we're fasting, for whatever reason, our body likes to expel magnesium. So it's very important to replace it, but we run into a problem. Magnesium is calming and relaxing, and fasting is, by its very nature, jacking us up with epinephrine in order to burn fat. That's why we have so much energy. We get so jazzed up. So wouldn't magnesium counteract that? Well, I was kind of from that school of thought. Then I did a little bit more research. Hey, I do want to make sure you hit that red subscribe button over there, and then also hit that little bell icon. That way you can always turn on notifications. We've always got cool videos like this, and I want to make sure you never, ever miss a beat. And also, you should be consuming magnesium all the time, not just when you're fasting. So go ahead and check out Thrive Market. They are an online membership-based grocery store, and you can get foods that are rich in magnesium, foods that are in my keto list, and also my fasting box. So I've been able to assemble all kinds of foods, put them into a basic box that people can order so they don't have to I don't know, think about what they're ordering. They're saying, okay, this is what Thomas recommends. I can go ahead and I can get this fasting box or this keto box and this and that. So link down below in the description, check it out after you watch this video. So since magnesium would normally counteract epinephrine, it seems like it would just not work. Now there's a study that was published in the Journal of Hypertension. Okay, it found that magnesium blocks N-type calcium receptors at nerve endings, okay, blocking epinephrine. Okay, that was how it would reduce blood pressure. Well, that tells us right there. Well, we're blocking epinephrine. So according to this journal of hypertension, we probably shouldn't take magnesium while we fast because it blocks epinephrine. But when we start looking at further studies, it gets really, really interesting. And this just blew my mind. Okay, so a study that was published in the journal Anesthesiology found that magnesium did block the hypertensive effects of epinephrine, but it did not stop the cardiotonic effects. What does this mean in simple terms? It means that magnesium stopped the effect of epinephrine at sort of the nerve ending level, affecting uh, our blood vessels. So it was able to stop epinephrine so our blood vessels weren't as tense. They were relaxed, so therefore our blood pressure went down. But it didn't affect the heart. It didn't affect heart rate, and it didn't affect cardiac output. This is really cool stuff, and I know I'm nerding out, but for those of you that are fasting, you want the benefits of epinephrine. If you kill the benefits of epinephrine, you're essentially killing the fat burning effects of your fast. But we still wanna have our magnesium in because we want our blood pressure to be low, we wanna feel calm. Well, now we can have the best of both worlds because it turns out that during a fast when epinephrine is elevated, hey, guess what? Magnesium is only going to kill the effects of epinephrine at sort of that blood vessel nerve ending level, not at the heart level. So you still get the epinephrine allowing the mobilization of fat, allowing that fat to mobilize and move, but then you also improve the blood vessel dilation. So then you have more blood just seamlessly moving through, delivering where it should, mobilizing more fat, moving more fat. It could, in theory, actually improve your fat loss. So this study in particular took a look at 11 participants, okay, and it infused them with magnesium. 
and it improved their uh, serum magnesium levels 44%, okay? but they had also co-administered epinephrine. They wanted to see how they would work together. So they found there's no effect on heart rate, no effect on cardiac output. It only affected the hypertensive effects. It only affected their blood pressure. So point is, yes, we can have magnesium. In fact, it's probably worth having. We're going to lose minerals, so we might as well get our sodium in, we might as well get our potassium in, and the one that was in question, magnesium, sounds like we definitely wanna get in because it's gonna help us out immensely. So if you wanna know more about different minerals to take during a fast or different vitamins that are okay to take during a fast, let me know in the comment section below, but it's less about what's okay to take during a fast because most vitamins and minerals, you might as well just reallocate to the end of your fast anyway, but if you're gonna get a benefit, then you definitely wanna take them. So magnesium covers the best of both worlds. Keeps epinephrine doing its job, but minimizes it where it could be hurting us. As always, please keep it locked in here on my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.